Welcome to the Pink Ching introduction video, where you'll learn everything you need on how to use the software. If you're using the software for the very first time, then the first thing you need to do is head over to the settings page. Simply click the settings button from the top navigation bar. Then click the accounts text on the right hand side. This will take you to a page where you will enter your usernames and passwords for the accounts you want the software to submit to. Simply click the drop down tab from the top and select the account you wish to add. Then click the add new button. A blank account will be created below where you can then enter your username and password. Once you've entered your username and password credentials, click the check button to the right to verify if the account is valid. Let me enter my information right now. Once you click the check button, look for a green success message or a red error message to let you know if your credentials you entered is correct. The majority of submission errors is because people have accidentally entered the wrong account information, so be sure to use this check button. At this time, you can add a service only once to the software. This means you can't have two DIG accounts for the software to use. In our very next update, we will be releasing our powerful account creation tool, which not only will help automate create new, automatically create new accounts for you, but give you the ability to have as many accounts in the software as you like. Now, once you have entered your accounts, you can now begin using the software's power to promote your online content. To enter your first URL, click the Manage Projects button from the top navigation bar. Then click Create New Project from the bottom. Projects are like folders, and right now you're entering a default folder for your website. Since Pinkaching allows you to promote multiple websites, you'll first need to create folders for each individual website or niche. Once you have a folder created, you can then quickly enter your content for promotion. Simply follow the, step, the steps the software prompts you for to create this project. A very smart idea is to spend a bit of time on the directory category page and select as many categories as possible. The more categories you select, here will open up more directories the software can submit to. Once you have created a project, or otherwise known as a folder, Click View Project. To add your very first URL, then click the Add New URL button. This is going to add a URL to this folder. This will take you through a series of questions that you'll need to enter to add your first URL. A tip to speed this process up is to enter your URL into the URL address field. Then click the Fetch Metadata button. So the software will grab most of this information for you. It'll pull in titles, descriptions, and keywords straight from your website if you have meta information. Once you have filled out all these fields, the last page is the Submissions page. It will look just like this page. This is where you can select what type of submissions the software should do. The icons that are in color are features you are able to run for this URL. Sometimes icons will be grayed out if the feature is not available for certain URL types. In this case, you can see the status updater is grayed out. Things can gray out for several reasons. Sometimes for sub URLs, directory submissions will always be grayed out. And that's because directories don't support sub URLs so the software automatically protects you from making any mistakes. From here you can click a colored icon that you wish to run and it will take you to a page where you can run the submissions. Check the icons next to the check the icons next to the sites you wish to submit to and then click the submit button on the bottom right hand corner. And that's it. You have just submitted your first URL through Pinkaching. Once you have your projects created, adding new URLs only takes about 30 seconds. If you need page specific training, click the video training icon in the bottom right hand corner of the software. 
This will take you to a page specific training on how to use that page. I hope you enjoy this powerful software and if you need any help please click the support link underneath this video. Thank you.